So anyway, Bunny, I have an aside here. In trying to find something that was also 17 years old, I discovered a story and I wanted to mention it here in the podcast because it's been a while since I've done the year was. And so I don't know when the next time is that I'll be able to mention this story. And it's a good story. So I wanted to mention it. Okay. So, so people, a lot of people buy tombstones early. Yes. Yes. So, that was only the, the only part of the Y2K bug that was true. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I, I, you buy them from, I'm assuming they're called tombstone engineers. Yeah. Tombstonians. Tombstonites. Tombstonites. <laughs> and the way that they've always done it is uh, these tombstonites, you know, a, a, a huge percentage of their sales come from people who are just uh, planning ahead and trying to get their their you know, their situation in order. And so here I will buy this tombstone early. We have the money and there you go. This is the way I want it to look. This is the way I want it to, to be. So the tombstone engineers, the way that they always did it was I will put your name. I will put whatever quote you want. I'll put your birthday, March 22nd, 1977. And then I'll put died blank, blank, 19 blank. Yes. That's the way that they always did that. So it's estimated that tens of thousands of tombstones had to be thrown away or destroyed. Because I imagine that there's like a 93-year-old man who's in a hospital somewhere and said, yes, it's 1995 and I'm going to be dying soon. Let's buy that. Let's buy, let's buy a tombstone. Mm. And then like six years later, he's like, damn it. <laughs> well there's I don't know how much tombstones cost. There's five thousand dollars gone to waste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but, the then the, but then the thing is, is is now you are cursing yourself for being alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn it. They, and there has to be at least one person who who like is about to die is about to die and then they die at like 1202 yeah am and people are like you know what close enough <laughs> i would have to go with i would have to go with like okay look what would it cost if you just chisel a line into the 19? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Just 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 chisel a line in there or an X and put yeah, an X. Yeah, put a twenty under it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Thankfully, thankfully though, that's not a problem for me because I buy all of my tombstones at Rocco and Vinny's Discount Tombstone Emporium. Rock Ho and Vinny's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock Ho and Vinny's Discount Tombstone Emporium—they are the place to go if you want quality, affordable tombstones. Yes, yes. It's always a little weird how they measure stone in its ability to float. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's density it is is really what they're concerned with most, and yeah. affordability. You know, yeah. So affordability. Yeah, yeah it, that's just, what I would. I, I, I wouldn't think that would be a unit of measurement you would use. Yeah, they're right next to the. They're actually they're actually conveniently located right next to the Black Dress Warehouse. Yes. So, yeah. 